Good morning, everyone. Hi, all. How are you all doing? Um, just to let you know before I go any further that obviously this morning's session, as with all team sessions, is being recorded. Um, thank you for joining us all for Tuesday's Team Virtual Get Up and Go. Glad to see so many of you here with me today. Um, those of you who joined me a couple of weeks ago on a Tuesday morning, you'll remember I introduced you to a short yoga flow, which for many of you I'm sure is quite a new thing. Perhaps you've not done um, any yoga before. And it was a bit of an introduction for you. I'm going to do the same thing again this morning. So we're going to have another go at some yoga. And today's session is going to focus more on our backs because I'm conscious that we're spending so much time in a seated position, um, sat at our computer screens doing all our teams lessons, that that can really start to take its toll on your backs and your spinal cord, particularly our lower backs as well. So. This morning's yoga session is really going to focus on our backs to give it a really good stretch and uh, hopefully relieve any pressures and aches and pains that we might be feeling as a result of spending so much time sat down in front of our computers. OK, so I hope you enjoy the session. Remember, you need well, all you need is some space to stretch yourself out in. We're going to start off today's session in the same way we did last week. So we're going to start in corpse pose, which is lay on our backs outstretched on the floor. So you need to make sure you've got enough space to do that. Also, remember, please, as we are focusing on our backs today, please take it easy when you go into each pose. Lower yourself gently into that position. Don't push yourself too hard. Just breathe into it and just ease yourself nice and gently into each pose. If you find anything too difficult or too challenging, that's fine. Bring yourself back into a neutral seated position and then join back in as and when you feel able to. All right. Enjoy, everyone. Right. Get yourselves into your space and I'll uh, get my music started. Let's go. OK, so starting off then, corpse pose. Palms facing up to the ceiling. And to begin with, just focus on your breathing. Okay, now very slowly bring both knees together in to chest and hold that tucked position. And stretch back out. This time take arms above the head and hold. Again, slowly bring those knees in, tuck into chest and hold. And stretch back out. Really focus on those breaths. OK, now we're going to take one knee in. So bring one knee up. Take arms out to the side. And we're going to drop that knee to the opposite side. So we're going to twist the spine over. Turn your head to the opposite direction and you should feel a nice stretch there of the lower back. 
drop yourself nice and easily into that stretch. And with each breath, see if you can drop that knee a little bit further. Okay, back to centre, hug the knees in. And out we go. Now we're going to swap sides. So, opposite knee up, arms to the side, and drop that knee over to the opposite side. Turn the head the opposite direction. And again with each breath, as you exhale, see if you can drop that knee further to the floor. Excellent. Back to centre. Knees in and hold. Okay, now we're just going to gradually rock, small rocks, until eventually you bring yourself up to a seated position. As you rock, feel the pressure on the spine and up we come. I'm just going to turn to face you. Okay, hands just placed comfortably by the side. And we're going to bring our arms up. We're going to inhale. Hands together. Exhale. Into prayer position. Hands by the side again. Relax, shoulders back. Inhale as we bring the arms up, arms together, down into prayer position. Well done. Okay, now very slowly extend each leg out in front. Now this time we're going to have a go at a spinal twist. Okay, so use your hands to keep yourself steady. You're going to take one foot and put it over the opposite leg. Okay, so we're going from here, one foot over. With the opposite hand, you can either place that on the outside of your leg to pull into that stretch. So we twist the shoulders to face the opposite side. Or you can use your elbow, that's up to you. And we twist and hold. Take a few big breaths. And out we come, arms in front. And we're going to swap sides. So swap legs, other leg over. Hand on the outside of the knee or elbow and twist those shoulders right round. Feel that nice stretch there of the spine. It's a really good stretch for the lower spine. Breathe into it. And relax. Okay, from there, we're going to take arms forward. Inhale in. Exhale down. Okay, take those feet in. We're going to come very slowly now up to a standing position. So tuck your toes under. We're going to do the same spinal curve that we did last time. So we're going to come up very slowly, feel each individual vertebrae curl up 
as you come to a standing position. Your head should be the last thing to come up. So here we go, back onto your toes. Up we come very slowly. Take our feet out so we've got a slightly wider stance. We're going to do a big arm circle to inhale in as the arms come up. And this time as we come down, we're going to bring the arms forward in front of us. And we're going to take ourselves into a wide leg forward fold. Up we come. Exhale out and down into forward fold and hold that position. Okay, take the arms up, inhale in. Exhale down. Okay, from there, we're going to come down, hands on the floor, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see this, so hands on the floor in front of you, feet slightly back, knees down, toes out, and seat back onto our feet, stretch those arms forward and we're going down into child's pose. Again, feel the stretch in the lower back. Walk those fingers forwards to get a really good stretch. circle out, inhale, and exhale down to the floor, slowly Bring ourselves up. Wonderful. One final. Inhale in. Arms up. Palms together. Down into prayer position. And we'll finish with Namaste. Thank you very much, everyone. Let me just pause my music so you can hear me now. I hope. I hope that you all enjoyed that session today and I hope most importantly that uh, we're feeling our backs a little bit more stretched out and we've relieved a little bit of um, pressures and aches and pains that we might have been feeling. It's really important that although we are spending um, an increased amount of time at our computer screens inevitably doing our lessons, it's still really important that you take that time away from the computer and get moving around, get out there. Um, you've all got your core PE lessons to be getting on with. Just to remind everyone, this week our PE department have the Team Virtual Distance Challenge, which was launched yesterday. I believe at the moment it's the Trojans' house. Mm -hmm. Mr. house are in the lead. Um, yeah, get your yeah. kilometres in, send them into your team captain, and we'll see which house 
gets the furthest distance by the end of the week. Come on, Vikings. And uh, just to remind you all as well that after school today, uh, Madam Smith from the Languages Department is doing a live cook along and she's making crepes today. So that's at 3.30 after school. We'd love to see loads of you getting involved in that as well. OK, have a fantastic day, everyone. Get yourselves off to period one. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you.